Good morning, Tracy. It's so good to see you here this morning. Um, thanks for joining us to be able to share with us a little bit about your Run Women Run endorsement. First, congratulations. Thank you, Terry. I'm really excited to receive this endorsement. Run Women Run was really important to me. It's a nonpartisan um, organization that promotes women in politics and does great mentoring and uh, and it was really important for me to receive this, so I'm just thrilled. Great. I, was, I had the honor and the opportunity to be on the committee that voted on all the different endorsements, and people were so impressed and touched by your closing statement as you went through the interview. So I'd like to invite you to give that statement here so that others can, can hear it too. Um, I think it's important. Thank you. Oh, I'd love to share it. Uh, so my closing statement, thank you again for this opportunity to be endorsed by Run Women Run. I would like to be a part of a shift in politics, bringing more women to the table to advocate for citizens. I believe most, not all, but most women have a unique talent to be strong yet empathetic, to be innovative and successful without being cutthroat competitive. And we have a unique perspective mostly attributed to our multitasking demands and years of having to overprove ourselves in the workplace and in leadership roles. Gender-based local government is an important step in helping achieve gender equality in communities and at all levels of government. I believe it is essential to have more women represent the people from small cities like Del Mar all the way to the White House. I believe this is true because equal representation, whether in gender, racial, or economic status, is imperative. I was honored to receive this endorsement from One Run Win Run. Thank you so much, Tracy. Uh, you, it's a thoughtful statement. It's inspiring. And what a great way to start the day. Thank you. I'm thrilled. And thank you for sharing it with me.